This title is Game Theory and Probability. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because a lot of you just go out there and bet something ridiculous. I don't know. I, I, I can't say what the ridiculous thing is, but, but I don't know. Um, the, I don't know what, how ridiculous it is because I can't really imagine it. So I, I'll do something that I think is ridiculous. Um, at least it kind of is. Um, so let's say I'm going to bet you that this guy's is going to land on, let's say, 6. That's something I would say. And you don't have to say ridiculous. I'm going to do this. Today I'm just talking about game theory and probability. Why probability is important? The actual reason is that probability is almost like everywhere. Let's say the probability of, let's say again, the probability of the dice being 6 is 1 6. So. The thing here, uh, it's the first one, the first row says probability. If the probability equals 50%, then of course, 50, then 50% 50 of the time you get negative 1, 50% of the time you get 1, adding to, up to an average of 0. Um, on the other hand, if it's bigger than 50%, then the probability of it being negative 1 is smaller than 50%. And, and the probability of it being, being bigger than 1 is bigger than 50%, and vice versa for things for the probability of less than 50%. So let's go back to the six, the rolling dice and becoming a six probability thing. Um, so looks like it's one sixth, so that's in which row? That's in probability is less than 50%. So the average probability, let's say you get one every time you roll six. So the average probability of you getting that is one sixth, and one sixth. And the average probability of you not get of you getting um, negative one is six fifths. Uh, six five six, sorry. Um so it turns out yes it is in the bottom row. It's less than fifty percent, so the average will be less than zero if you contain this average thing as one and negative. Here I got an example of um, game theory. That's the first thing. Um, that's uh, something. That's something I'm going to talk about today. Since um, I just thought about this. Um, so the here's the game. Um, you're trying to okay. You're trying to get as least points as possible. Um, because okay so. Here's how um, I'm going to say it. So two thieves plan to rob an electronic store. They get caught by the police once they approach the back, approach the back door. Um, and then, but the police has no, um, the police has no evidence that they did this. So the police cannot put a punishment. But instead, they put them in the prisoner's dilemma, which is what I drew up here. So the prisoner's dilemma goes as follows: If they both go stay quiet, then they both spend one month in jail. Since the evidence is lacking, but but it turned out it looks like they were doing it. So they, they, unfortunately, they both spend one year in jail, and it ends up at the top top left corner. However, there are situations if one person stays quiet and the other person confesses, then the person who stayed quiet goes away, walks away free. But the person who, oops, um, the person who stayed quiet, um, since 12 months in jail, where the confessing person walks away free, and vice versa. Um, and finally, if they both confess, they both spend eight months in jail. So. That's the point, and the reason why it doesn't end in the top left corner is because confessing always does better than staying quiet, since confessing just gives them a better idea, even though 8-8 is way worse than 1-1. Um, 
Um, and that's why the solution is 8-8. Eight, eight. So here it's game 3, level 2, and it's talking about weak dominance. So the game goes as follows up here. Um, if one of them plays up, the other person plays left, and it's one more. Um, you try to get most points here, um, and down, and then, and then if that, it's the first solution down left, it's one two. For the solution up right, it's one zero, and the solution finally for the solution down right is zero zero. So it's clearly this zero zero situation is the worst situation. Nobody want would want it. Um, however, now I'm going to talk about weekly dominance. Um, up and please don't miss down because up and down are the same if left and then but if she plays right unfortunately it's worse but but let's look at this if we started by eliminating left and right first left is well left we play dominates right too in the same way but if we started by that then up and down will be same so actually Actually, if we start by dominating that, right and left would be the same. But then for the upright situation, unfortunately, player one cannot. So, so upright is a set of um prime strategy national good luck, but it's worse for player two. Player two would rather get to the left, so that isn't a really solution. Player two would, would definitely to left, and then yeah, so. Up left is actually the best situation uh, because up will play down and down, unfortunately. So, player one will play up or maybe down if if player two goes first. But of course, I'm gonna say player one goes first. So, position will be up, down, or down, up, left, or down, left. I would say that was my natural blow. So, yeah. This is. Um, something, we'll talk about game trees, um, in backwards introduction. So, game trees are like this, so, they split so that I, I don't have to write the chart and there are more moves that I can write down. So let's start with the simple thing. Um, if player one, there, plays up, then player one gets one, and player two gets second one. Um, if Place down, so two um, decides to reject or accept his continue. If she rejects, then she gets zero. It and player one gets zero too. If she accepts, then player one is cho chosen by continue or lie. If he lies, he gets one. If he continues, her two choose to betray him or continue. And if she continues, he gets negative, she, she gets, he, player one gets negative one, or player two gets negative two, well, and she, if she betrays, she gets two, and player one gets negative one. Um, so let's start with backward introduction, so we start with, um, back of the game, and then work what we to start. Uh, here, the first picture, the first one is negative one, two, um, which one does she want, two or negative two? Well, two is better than negative two, so she will never continue. She's gonna be traded. But then player one will know why it would be better for him since we get one. So player one will buy, George two accepts who is good But player two will never exist. As knowing, player two will reject his results to continue, so, and then they'll get zero. And then player one will play up since one is better than zero. So player one will play up, and the game will end. So. That's basically it about backward introduction. Well, I don't have another game tree because game trees took time to write and and I didn't want to write too many. So yeah. The last picture is PSNE and MSNE. Um, PSNE is per strategy natural puzzle. Pure strategy natural puzzle. Sorry. Um and. Mixed, and then this is MSNE is mixed strategy of Nash but left. Um, so we can check, take a look at a um, per strategy Nash 
put the with the prisoner's dilemma. Clearly, there's one. Confess, confess. Um, for the mixed Reginesh book about the odd game that we I never told you about. It's called the Scott Stack Hunt. So for the Stack Hunt, player one and player two try to hunt down the stack or hair. If they both shoot stack, they both get three. If stack hair, then you have two. And vice versa. And hair hair is one. So you're trying to get as much. Okay. So let's take a peek here. What we going to do? Um, if we see here, it's two first pure strategies and one mix. And here's the, uh, let's say, so, let's say, player one to stand, question, amount of the time. And player one to hair, one minus question, one question, amount of time. So, let's take a look here. Um, Let's say that happened, and so there are two pures and one mixed. So there's three for here and one for here. Um, here's a message that I just wrote an ending because I thought maybe the message would like end the story better. So it says, "Thank you for watching. Have a really happy 100%. Never alone.